And I went into a vision and I saw so much pollution in that waters that you couldn't put people in the back guys, but we had troughs all over the beaches. I mean, for thousands of people. The conviction had come down so strong that the people was tearing their idols off the beaches and they put clothes on. It was a rich place. I mean, I've never been nowhere like that. Amazingly, big skyscrapers right on the beach and people living in yachts and everything else. It was a place like that vexed me to death, even being in such a rich environment. But if the Lord had me there in this vision and the oil was all on the beaches and everything was like, and that was probably six years ago to give it to me. But when I seen that, and the conviction was so heavy when we began to preach Christ, that the conviction was so heavy that I could see inside the buildings and the yachts and the homes and the sins that they were committing was risen above. And I could read what sins were being committed in each place. It was so evident. And the Lord was saving the people, but they were, the reason I said that is because they were so convicted, the conviction was so heavy that people were even convicted for not taking baths. I mean, some sins were adultery, fornication, and uncleanness, lewdness, all this stuff going on that the Holy Ghost was showing me. But the thing it was is that the conviction of God would cause your whole life to change. Amen. Amen. And you're welcome. Because the order of God is peace. Hallelujah. Yes. I mean, the Holy Ghost will teach you how to be a man or how to be a woman. The Holy Ghost will teach you how to be a wife or whatever you need. The Holy Ghost will show you the word on it, not just feelings and emotions and how you think yeah. you need it to be. You've got to follow the pattern. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And then he shows you how to love and how to be loved. Hallelujah. That's the yes. attribute of God. Yes. And that's what's missing most of our lives. We're full of lust and we call that love. Come on. Right. Know, we've never really experienced real love. And you've never really experienced real romance and real satisfaction. There's grown ups here that kids ain't in, don't think. But you never even experienced real intimacy between a man and a woman until it's two Holy Ghost filled people in the will of God. Amen. 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 Because God said the marriage bed is undefiled. Right. It's holy. Ooh, but adulterous whoremongers is going to judge. See, people are trying to satisfy themselves and they do all these weird, lewd things and it still leaves them empty. Or they drink themselves to death and it still leaves them empty. They smoke themselves to death and they're still empty. Why? Because everything in this world takes from you. That's right. But Christ gives. Amen. And I was on that beach, And when I was preaching, they started repenting and thousands of people. The Lord showed me a nation was going to judge him, and then he did it. He showed me those things before, and he's even showed me things coming on this land. And I've been more timid about speaking, but he may have me speaking when he's ready. But all I can tell you is i got to quit playing around with them. Because too much, I worry too much about the natural life for people. Come on, brother. Try to be friendly and want to see him just serve God. But the very fact is, if you don't get saved today, we could be preaching your funeral by morning. Yeah. Yeah. I could preach it. Somebody preach mine. Whatever. But God be God. But in this dream, this vision that I had, I saw the island was so surrounded by oil and the banks were loaded and everything. But we put them in these troughs and when we was getting ready to baptize them, the Spirit of the Lord in the form of a dove was flying over. But it wasn't like what you think a normal dove. It had such a fierce, powerful head on it. Like such a power. When I looked at it, I could just see such power. like Almost like a, a, a body of a dove, but the head like of a... Like a lion or a, one of them mean looking monkeys. I can't even explain it. But it was just roaring with power across the sky and everybody could see it. And it went straight up when it came down. It landed on my shirt and crawled up my shirt and put its mouth to my mouth and began to describe to me the love of God. And when it described the love of God to me, out of that I preached more fiercely the judgment of God. Amen. Why? Because people usually won't listen until their pants are on fire. That's right. Men usually don't get saved in a good situation. But nevertheless, whatever it takes, get saved. Hallelujah. Amen. If it takes your life busting up, you're getting sick, whatever you want to get saved, then get saved and get healed. Amen. But get saved. Really give yourself to God. Learn what life is before you stand before Him who is life. Amen. Somebody said, I don't give an account to God. Yes, you are. Why? Because He's gave you His life. Yes. Come on. That life you live, that breath you take is God's breath. Amen. And we can rail against it. We've been given a time to have our own free will. We've been given choice. Yes. More power than anything in the universe. It's the sun, the moon, and stars are still doing what God told them. For thousands of years they've been doing it. The animals, they're still doing what God told them. The seasons are still coming like God said. The earth is now wobbling like a drunken man like God said. Yes. The earth has always been the circle of the globe. Even before Columbus saw it, it was in the Word of God. I mean, God's been there. God's written it down. God's put it on His timetable. And the earth is on the last 
in judgment of self-destruct. Not because men have messed it up, because this is the allotted time that man has, and the coming of the Lord draws nigh. Hallelujah. Amen. And he's going to raise up preachers that are going to preach him in the houses, in the streets, the highways and hedges. They're going to lose their life for him and glorify his name. And you may be one today that's been called. You may live like a devil your whole life, but today's the day of salvation. Yeah. You may have persecuted him, yeah. but you might preach him by the night. Hallelujah. Because now is the accepted time. Today is the day of salvation. I feel the Holy Ghost. He's drawn. I feel the draw of the Holy Ghost. If you believe him, he'll heal you. Amen. If you come serving, he'll forgive you. He'll wash it away. He'll show you he's real. Put him to the test. He ain't afraid to show he's real. When he stood before, I believe it was Azariah, his name was, something like that. He stood before him. He said, ask the sign of the Lord. The old heathen king said, I ain't asking him. I ain't tempting him. He should have asked him because if God tells you to ask him for something, don't try to play all tender with him. Because he's more than willing to show you something. Yes, he is. And since he wouldn't ask, and Isaiah said, all right, then the Lord's going to give you a sign. And what was the sign? He said, a virgin is going to bear a son. Hallelujah. You want to see something? He said, I'm going to put myself in the womb of a body. The man you will, God with you. And he said, he told David, he said, I will sit on the, your throne by the fruit of your body, God told him. And that's everything the apostles preached. That's what got them in trouble when they preached Jesus Christ, Lord of Lord, King of Kings. Everything. Yes. Yes. Is he your Lord? Amen. Yes, he is. Are you staying in the vine? Hallelujah. It's time to serve God like a bunch of wild people. Amen. You think Islam's militant? You ain't seen the church wake up yet. That's right. That's right. Islam knocks skyscrapers down. We're to turn them upside down. Amen. Hallelujah. I right. should turn whole cities upside down. Yes. Not by nuclear ability. Right. Not by suicide bombs. But Fair. by a dead man preaching the gospel. Not trying to die. Already dead. Amen. Amen. Not trying to quit something. Already changed. Wouldn't preach to you if it hadn't been changed. Not talking to you about something I learned in seminary. Haven't been there. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. But I've been the one preacher, what he called it, Bush University. <laughs> what is that? Is that Anheuser? No. The burning bush. Yeah. You get that Holy Ghost with fire. You put fire in your bones, fire in your tongue, to give you a purpose for living. Yeah. God wants to fill us with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. 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 Uh, we're going to open these altars. If you don't know the Lord, He said, come confess Him. Repent. Turn from your sin. Return. Ask Him to forgive you. He said, He washed and cleansed you from all your sin. Amen. Because that's what he wants. That men and women would believe. Amen. And when you believe and you begin to give your life to him, God will count to you for righteousness. I don't care what you've done. God will worship you. Yes. I said God will worship you. Yes, I don't care how sick you are, God will heal it. Amen. Well, let's find a place of prayer this morning. If you need prayer for your body and you're sick, the scripture said go lay hands on you, anoint you with oil, and God will heal you. That's what his word says and that's what he does. Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus, let's come find us a place of prayer. Give Amen. God the rights to your life. Thank you, Lord. Give Him the rights to your life. Give Him the rights to your life. Get your jump start. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.